first ever cooler held by power cord and freaking zip tie. Let's go. This is my mini PC with a 5700U rocking a 6600 XT over Oculink and I love this thing but it has a big problem. It runs freaking hot. It peaks at 90 and sometimes even creeps up to 91, 92 during gaming. But this mini PC was intended to run up to 90 degrees. It is how it was made but it does bog down performance especially when gaming the whole pc not a lot going on in there but it does pack a lot of power and a lot of heat for its size so this cooler is dinky as hell that's the cpu die and we do have some mosfets over there and vrms that we should probably keep cool this is the ICE 400X low profile CPU cooler. I got it on AliExpress for like 12 bucks like a year ago. And it's way beefier than the stock one. It should work well. Alrighty then. So we got everything working pretty dang well with the zip tie. I went ahead and used a couple screws as standoffs because when I was zip tying it, it would want to twist around a little bit, which made it impossible to get down in place. Pressure is good on the CPU. Uh, we did a pretty good thermal face too because our temperatures are amazing. We're at 74 right now. We've been playing for 10 minutes. The room's at 79. Um, we're right next to this hot ass GPU. So it, it, I would say that this is a W. Now the real question is how do we get everything to fit here? It's gonna be powered with the 12 volt from the the PIVA power supply powering the external graphics card. So lucked out kind of there. Here we are. Finally, it's working well enough. Um, we're still having issues with like pressure on it. That paracord. I don't know for whatever reason it's slightly loosening up. It's not as good as it was when it was not in the shell, but it's still running way better than it did before. Way 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 better because. Even though the room is pretty toasty, we're at 78 degrees right now. Um, it is 25 degrees uh, Celsius. It's pretty warm in here. It's, it's almost uncomfortably warm. Um, I do have the AC running, but it's just really hot here still. And we are in Expedition 33. And you can see clearly that we're, we have pretty good temps. We're at 80 degrees, considering we were constantly pegged at 90. You'll see that our wattage is at 31, uh, 4325 megahertz, and it's pretty steady, pretty steady, pretty stable. We're only getting 50 frames. Um, we are at 1080p upscaled. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it cannot handle. I'm going to drop down to window mode, 900p, and I'm going to drop this ultra quality plus, hit F. When we're using the iGPU for upscaling for on lossless scaling um, from what is this 900p or 1080p to 1440p watch our temperatures now that we're using our iGPU our temperature just skyrockets to 80 and 88 89 um, just at 50 and you can see our core frequency has already started taper down but our water because our water has gone up we're at 90 degrees now I was thinking that maybe it was because I don't have enough pressure so I'm going to try to press down on it a little bit actually it is dropping quite a bit oh, it's actually dropping a lot we don't have enough pressure on this uh, CPU still so we're right now we're at 85 degrees see how the temperature is dropping from 85 86 to 82 I'm applying more pressure onto the heat sink and once I let go watch the temperature it should start to climb back up so that just shows me that I'm not getting good enough pressure on it. So I'm going to do one of two things, or I'm going to do one thing, I think. Um, I don't think I can cinch that thing up tight enough the way I have it. I could try to make a mountain rig for the, my mounting rig for this, but the more I faff around with this, it's just, if you can't screw down, screw it down, I might look for like alternative coolers maybe. Um, but with this particular cooler, the fact that we can't screw it down, 
um, it's going to be an issue. So I'm thinking if I can just get another zip tie going across, I should be able to get enough pressure. I had to make some changes with the mounting bracket. I came up with this idea last night where I use these standoffs so I could put these plastic straps on uh, across and then screw them down into the standoffs like so x pattern it's pretty it's way better than the zip tie i'm i if this isn't better than it was before i'm probably just gonna scratch this idea but it looks like it's gonna work well um i did have to bend this um cpu cooler so i can get my hand in there a little bit easier i probably could have got away without not doing that but um it's copper it should be fine we shouldn't damage the wick or anything the wick is just liquid there's no actual wick in this liquid in there uh, so we're going to bring it back in in place after we test it um but yeah this should work a lot better looks better too so we're back here in claire obscured i like to use this game because this is the game i'm playing a lot and i see this pegged at 90 uh degrees celsius all the freaking time so I think we got everything working properly. There was a lot of trials and tribulation to get this mount to uh, have enough pressure to actually cool the GPU. And if you look right here, we're at 48 degrees right now. The room is currently 75 degrees and cooling down. What we have going on is we are on XES performance because I want the CPU to go full tilt. Um, and we are in window mode 1080p we're not even climbing in temperature we've been on for only a few minutes but i don't see us going that crazy high one thing i want you to notice is our core frequency is pretty rock solid at 4350 meaning this machine is just so steady smooth now i do notice less stutters i wish i could get the frame time graph to work on msi but for whatever reason i still can't get it to work in this pc but i am seeing 31 watts a lot more often than i did uh, before so it seems like it is pushing a little bit more wattage uh more consistently and that's probably the reason why we have better you know core frequency so the reason why we're in window mode and at 1080p is because i really want to tax the system so when i say tax the system I really want to turn on loss of scaling. By turning on loss of scaling, we're going to use the internal graphics card, the iGPU, and uh, we're really going to start pushing more power into the chip. So that should cause it to heat up more. So you'll see this one start moving and you'll see our power go up quite a bit. All right, so you see we went from 31-ish, 32-ish to 38. So we're pulling another six watts continuously. We're dumping more heat into the system, our temperatures crimed all the way up to the high 50s we're just gonna do some combat and see um, how well this thing does temperature wise I'm gonna say amazing it's a, it's so much better than ever has been I don't think we can get it any better than this I'm glad I really pushed uh, trying to get this thing to sit properly Just did about three fights, um, probably another eight minutes worth of gameplay, and um, our temperature is pretty rock steady at 58 degrees. Um, and if we turn off our lossless scaling, upscaling, I wouldn't watch. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it drops. So we're gonna just unscale. Look at our temperature just drops all the way down to 52. Wow. This thing is running so much cooler. So just for context, we're at 50 degrees with loss of scaling off. Um, and it was a steady 90 to 92 when gaming in this game in particular. It's literally a 32 degree delta. Oh, sorry, 42 degree delta. What am I saying? I can't do math. 42 degree delta. Um, current room temperature is actually a little bit warmer now. Um, 76.5 um, for Celsius boys that is 24 degrees 24.7 degrees Celsius um, just showing you that um, boy is this a way better setup than it was before it, um, it looks insane and hacked together which I love you know jank is life for me man if it don't look a little bit janky come on like 
Uh, this is like, this. The, it has to look a little bit janky. Strapping a CPU cooler to your mini PC uh, is uh, the future. <laughs> just so you guys understand, we just basically made an X pattern with some standoffs and we screwed it down. Um, and it was really difficult to do that, uh, but it was doable. D I didn't quit. This is probably like the fifth iteration, fifth or sixth. And I probably wasted about a total of two and a half hours to get this thing mounted properly. But it's, look at that. We have a 42 degree delta, now um, 43. Uh, I think it, it, <laughs> it was worth the time spent for sure to get this thing running the way it is now.